Mr Farage, on behalf of the EFDD. I'm looking forward to Guy Verhofstadt, the Liberal Group leader, coming to the United Kingdom to take part in the Brexit debate. Your passionate defence of a United States of Europe and a European army is, I know, sincerely held, and I'm sure the Liberal Democrats will be delighted. <laughs> it's now been a month. It's now been a month since the last European summit. Okay. And you know, I don't know about week being a long time in politics, there's been a sea change in that month, and I think that one event has woken people up to the folly of EU leaders, the Juncker Common Asylum Plan, the Merkel call which led to a stampede, those of us that have warned that unlimited numbers of people from different cultures without security checks would pose a threat to the cohesion of our societies were roundly abused for doing so. And then we came to New Year's Eve, Munich. The train station, the main station, closed down because of a terrorist threat, the intelligence coming from Syria and Iraq. The very same train station that in September people had stood at holding up their placards, refugees welcome. That irony was not lost on me. But it's what happened, I think, in Cologne, where we saw the mob. Up to a thousand young males in the street sexually assaulting and harassing women. It is, I think in many ways, one of the most disgraceful public order events that we've seen in modern day Europe. And yet there was an attempt by the police and the press to cover it all up. And even the suggestion from some German politicians that German young women should change their dress and their mode of behaviour in the street, which I thought was a total insult. There's even a name for these assaults. A name for these assaults in Egypt because they've now become commonplace and part of everyday life. And we ought to have the courage to send out a message to say these assaults must never be acceptable in any European town or city and we'll do our damnedest to make sure that it never happens again. Now we go to the next European summit and Mr Cameron's going to conclude his renegotiation. I've no doubt there'll be a compromise on the fairly minor issue of migrant benefits. I've no doubt that he will come back from that summit with a few promissory notes for the future about Britain's relationship. But what he's not going to be talking about is our ability to get back control of our borders. And the British people know that those young men in Cologne, in a few years' time, will have EU passports and be free to come to Britain. And just to give you an idea of how big the sea change has been, a Daily Telegraph commentator, Alison Pearson, who had said she was undecided on Brexit, she didn't have enough information, wrote this the other day. She said, after Cologne, the EU referendum is about nothing less than the safety and security of British women. We, the Euro clueless, need to woman up and vote for the right of our daughters and granddaughters to live as they choose and to smile in the street. No more Mrs. Don't Know, let's get the hell out. I hope 2016 is our year of deliverance. Now, another was a blue card for Madame Lunacek, uh, which I overlooked. Uh, so we'll go a step back, and then uh, uh, Mr. Verhofstadt wanted to respond to uh, Mr. Farage. So we're taking a step back. His party, UKIP, has a whole record, so he should maybe take another language in this. Okay. Uh, so, President, is this reasonable behaviour? We've had it more than once from this gentleman. Surely we should all be equal in this chamber and treated fairly and with decency and courtesy and respect. Sie hatten mir, Sie hatten mir noch nicht die Gelegenheit gegeben. You, you didn't give me the opportunity, Mr. Farage, to respond. Uh, you took the floor on your own in this particular instance. Now, Mr. Verhofstadt, the reason uh, for the uh, the 
Now, the particular uh, point that you made, if you cannot substantiate it, then, if you cannot substantiate that, then um, uh, we'll have to move forward now to Madame von Stolz. Uh, and the question now was for Madame Lunacek. That is right.